Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's been so long since I've last posted a video I feel like. But now that I'm back, so I wanted to share with you guys my 2017. Ito yung mga most loved and favorites ko. Kaya tinagong best of beauty and 2017 kasi hindi mga the best and feeling ko gamit na gamit yung mga products. And basically, hindi naman necessarily ni launch na 2017, but yung mga favorite ko talaga na products na ginamit ko and na-discover ko on 2017. Kaya, without further ado, medyo madami tong product nito. I will just breeze uh, past everything since usually I discuss this in my hauls and favorites videos naman. So, without further ado, let's go in order of things kung paano ko siya in-apply So, this year, meron ako dalawang primers that I discovered and I love very much. So, simulan na natin sa Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. So basically, I love this kasi it smooths out your skin. Hindi siya masyadong dry and hindi siya nag-ball up sa skin mo. It fills in your pores and it has a rose hip and argan oil. So it's a primer and skin care in one. And I really love the finish of this one. And the other one is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. Kasi basically, it's hard to find a smoothing and yet hydrating primer. Kasi gusto ko not to cover yung pores but at the same time, I want a healthy... Um, hindi naman luminous, but basically a healthy, hydrated look. And feeling ko, ito yung nakakapagbigay nun sa akin. So next is, dito pa na tayo sa complexion product, next is foundation. So this year, actually, ginagamit ko pa rin, same pa rin yung mga holy grail products sa gusto ko when it comes to foundation. Siyempre, number one yung, uh, pagdating sa high-end, Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. Again, I talk about this time and time again. It's very good for photography, pati in person. Super ganda yung skin like niya. And it lasts so long on your skin. Super satin ang finish niya, hindi siya dewy, hindi din siya matte. So I really love this very in between but very skin-like talaga yung finish niya. And it really smooths out your skin. And super dali niya gamitin. As in, you can blend it with a sponge, you can blend it with a brush. Talaga, wait pa lang, chak, chak, chak. Tapos, uh, blend it in with a brush. Tapos ka na, hindi ka niya bibigyan na masyadong problema sa buhay. Unlike yung Laura Mercier Ultra Long Wear Foundation. Na maganda yung finish but e eh, afortan mo talaga siya, in short. Next is, of course, you know my Holy Grail Drugstore Foundation will always be, I think, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation because it always, always works for me in any condition of my skin, whether oily or dry ako. It always works. It always gives me the finish of just smooth skin. Super skin, like that, you know, finish na binibigay niya. It lasts all throughout the day. It's a medium coverage, but minsan talaga ganun lang yung gusto ko pang everyday. Hindi mo naman gusto full well, with no judgment, if you just have full coverage every day of your life, but ako minsan gusto ko lang yung light and fresh and ano ba yun, just, ev just an everyday foundation. And it has healthy ingredients as well. So it's re really good, it's a really good, reliable, everyday foundation. So I will never, parang, hindi ko siya pagsasawa ang gamitin talaga. And next is, first time ko siya isasama sa favorites ko ever kasi I realized that I love this so much and isa siya sa Actually, dalawang foundation para na ubus ko. Yung Bourjois, ito ang repurchase ko rin pinakita ko sa inyo. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. So, ang gusto ko dito, ito yung ginamit ko foundation today. And as you can see, it gave my skin just a very luminous finish. Na hindi siya dewy. Parang glow from within look yung binibigay niya. Ang ayaw ko lang sa kanya, ang downside niya is super feeling ko, hindi ko alam kung little yung product. Ayun ang bang kinakuntihin ito. Oh, super konti nga niya. 51.51 ounces. So, half of the normal amount of foundation. Tapos, most of it is nasusook up pa siya ng mismong cushion. So, cushion. So, ano ba yun? But, at the same time, hindi naman siya super mahal. It's not as affordable as, say, yung normal price rin siya drugstore na around 500 pesos or less. But, it really gives me the finish that I want. Super skin-like. Again, fashion word siya. How many times do you like see skin like in one sentence? Alam mo yun. But this is what I like about this. Gusto ko siya kasi hindi makeup yung look niya and it's really a reliable and long-lasting foundation for me. And it's so comfortable to wear. Let's move on to concealer. So I have three concealers to talk about today. Number one is super skeptical ako na maging favorite to. Actually, I hope siya maging favorite. Because again, you know that I really go for cruelty-free brands and hindi siya cruelty-free brand. But... This is one of those things na wala akong mahanap na papantay sa kanya. Kaya, hindi ko siya ma-let go. I hope na makaharap ako na papantay sa kanya. Kasi gusto ko talaga mag-support ng cruelty free brands. And I don't want to support those who are still testing, an testing on animals. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. So, I'm in the shade light. Basically, super... Ito yung ginagawa ko concealer today. 
it never fails. Ito yung fail proof na concealer. Kahit ano pa foundation mo, kahit on its own, it looks very good. It, it's not too matte, it's not too dewy, it's not too wet, it's just the right consistency, it's not too thick, and it gives you just a healthy, healthy look. So, ganun yung binibigay niya. So, kahit patapit kayo nagay, hindi siya mukhang cakey. Kapag dry yung skin ko, I always go for this. Kasi, ito lang yung feeling ko nag-work sa akin. And this other one. Kaya, super thankful ako na nakita ko tong second concealer that I will be talking about. This is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. This feels like a high-end concealer. Feeling ko sa kanya, parang ka-level niya in my eyes si Tarte Shape Tape. Sa totoo lang. Must be coverage lang ng very, very slight si Tarte Shape Tape. But, gusto ko to. Kaya ko lang siya hindi mapalitan itong Maybelline H3 White fully with this. Kasi may problema lang ako sa color nito. This shade, by the way, is light 20. And this oxidizes to the color of my skin. So, yun lang yung problema ko dito. Kung unless magbago siya ng formulation at mag hindi na siya nag-oxidize, I can just switch this for this. But unfortunately, hindi eh. Kasi the color of this is so right for me. Kaya, yun niya again. Hindi siya mapalitan. So, but this is very good. Super creamy and super light on the skin. I love the feeling this gives me. And this is a, this is my perfect concealer for no makeup makeup days. Kasi nga, nakonin siya ng skin ko. And it's very skin-like. Hindi siya masyadong matte. But at the same time, hindi siya masyadong dewy. Kaya, hindi siya humula. Hindi siya pangit pag tumatagal. Alam mo yun. Last concealer naman is when I'm so oily. This is my go-to concealer. Because this never fails. My only... My only... <coughs> My oily T-zone. And this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. So, ito yung pinaka-universal kong concealer. Na, it works really with any uh, foundation. Especially mga arte. Like, yung Double Wear ng Estee Lauder and the Lana Mercier um, Ultra Flawless Fusion Foundation. So, ito yung ginagamit ko doon. Kasi ito yung pinaka-nag-work sa kanila. Kasi super matte nga nila. And this is a super matte um, concealer as well. Ito yung pinaka-long-lasting kong concealer, I feel like. Kasi, aside sa waterproof siya, talagang ang tagal niya sa skin mo. Hanggang hindi mo siya tinatanggal, hindi siya matatanggal, hindi siya makukukas. So, that's what I like about this. But now that I have dry skin, feeling ko, medyo cakey siya tingnan sa skin ko. So, I go towards more, a little bit more of the hydrating concealers like the Maybelline H3 Wine and the Colourpop Concealer. Okay, let us now move on to powders. First powder is the Kat Von D Blotting Powder. I'm in the shade light. So this really does um, smooth out your skin. Sabi niya blotting powder siya. Pero honestly, I set my under eyes and sometimes my whole face with this. Like today, I set my whole face very, very lightly with this. This never looks cakey on me. Sa totoo lang. And it really blurs out my pores. So yung gusto ko dito. And high end siya, pero hindi siya super as in up there in price. Not unlike the... Not like the next product that I will be talking about. This is my favorite powder of all time. Honestly, this is my favorite powder of all time. So this is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And when they say micro powder, it really is a micro powder. Kapag hinawa ko siya, compare ko siya sa kahit anong powder na meron ka in your collection, nothing will compare to this. As in, nothing compares to this. I've never touched Kahit pa blush, bronzer, this is the creamiest powder ever. It never looks cakey. It sets your face um, very beautifully. And basically, it lives up to its name na airbrush thing na yung face mo when you use this. So, ang downside lang itong product ko to, since super soft ng powder niya, ang dali niya maubos, I feel like. Kaya, I already hit pa na So, But, syempre, this is one of those products that I will continue under purchasing kasi nothing compares to it. So, alam mo yun, hindi siya tulad ng ibang products sa may dupes. Ito kasi walang exactly like this. Nothing is as off as this one. So, I will continue to patronize this product. And by the way, I'm in the shade number 2, me. Okay, let us move on to bronzers now. Bronzer, other face product basically. Kasi meron dito mga palettes. So, um, simulan natin. Simulan ko na sa mga palettes. First off, is the Two Star Bronze and Joe, another product by Charlotte Tilbury. Kaya ko siya nagay favorite. Matagal yun itong product na ito, don't get me wrong. But, this is the perfect product for me. This is the perfect bronzer. Not too cool, not too warm. Very neutral siya and you can use it to contour. This is what, this is what I use for contouring my nose today. So, I really like the finish of this. This is not too matte, pero hindi siya shimmery. The highlight is perfect. Yun lang masasabi ko sa kanya. It is perfect. Wala siyang glitter. It just gives your face the most beautiful sheen glow from within. So, for me, this is so worth it. Super ganda pa ng packaging niya. Yes, this 
from Highland to Napo. And there are a lot of good bronzers and highlights out there. But if you are a makeup collector, collector then this is a must-have in your collection. It just adds to the experience of putting on makeup. Hindi lang siya maganda tingnan, but it adds to the experience. Yun lang yung masasabi ko. And you don't have to spend much to look good, but this is a nice thing to have, alam mo yun, to ask for Christmas or your birthday. So I really love this one. Next is my travel body. This is the NARS um, Laguna Bronzer in Hot Sands Highlight Duo. So, this is very much like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's much smaller now. This is perfect for travel because, again, the Laguna bronzer is a very neutral bronzer, so you can use it to contour and to warm up your skin as well. And the Hot Sands highlight is much like the Charlotte Tilbury highlight. It just gives your skin the perfect glow from within without being too much. Yun. So, very Ang um, daytime appropriate siya. And this is again super travel friendly nito. I'm so scared to run out of it. Kaya I use it mostly for travel purposes only. So this is a very good one. Next is, ito yung isa sa mga bagay na hindi ko alam kung tama ba yung ginawa ko na dinipat ko siya. Kasi ang, ang ganda na nalagay niya. Pero ano yung sinahirapan kasi akong gamitin. So this is a blush from the Our Glossary Lightning Edit. Ito yung original yung lalagyan. So, super ganda, di ba? Pero, pag binuksan mo siya, tinagal ka na most of the products kasi nahihirapan ako i-dunk yung brush ko inside na hindi naghahalbuhan yung nilalagay ko. Hindi nilalagay yung bronzer, yung ibang blush. So, this is my favorite blush. Ang tawag dito is a real glow na blush. So, I hope that they will make this in its own, alam mo yun, in its own packaging. May single um, blush sila na ganito kasi this is my favorite um, from out of the Surreal Light Edit. Of course, you know that my favorite blush is Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush. So, this is my second favorite blush of all time kasi it just gives you just a natural but, alam mo yun, healthy blush to the skin. Next is, sige, dahil nandun na tayo sa blush, pumunta na tayo sa mga blushes. So, second favorite kong blushes is the Precision Formula Butter Blushes. You know the formula, of course. You must know the formula of the butter bronzer. Sa pili ko, isa na siyang cult favorite product. And this is a soft and as fragrant as the butter bronzer. So, I love the finish that it, it gives my skin a satin finish. So, hindi siya super powdery tingnan, even if hindi ka mag-setting spray. And I love the muted colors. Kasi gusto ko yung mga blush na build up mo. Kasi, alam mo yan, there's no danger of putting too much too soon. So, I really love this. Um, blush formulas. Next blush is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Natural Beauty. And this is the blush that I have on today. So this is a very natural looking blush. Ito yung mga blushes na pag tinignan mo sa pan, parang ang boring. Tingnan na kulay niya. Pero actually, mga boring colors na tingnan sa pan, yun yung pinakamaganda sa skin. So this is just a nude blush. And it goes with, kapag gusto mo mag-intense eyeshadow, so ito yung go-to ko, basically. This and the next one that I'll be talking about, yun yung mga go-to ko kapag medyo bold eye or bold lip look. But I like this one better than the next one kasi it gives your cheeks a soft sheen. So very natural siya tingnan sa face mo. So next one is, ito naman yung gusto ko, kung gusto ko ng matte blush na natural looking niya. So medyo similar yung color nila, mas um, neutral lang tong satin touch blush. And this is a little bit warmer. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Sensual. So this is very good for both lip and both eye looks kasi it will not take away the attention from the eyes or the lips kasi it's a very muted and matte a blush that lasts all throughout the day. And I like that this has a before. Next is um, another favorite blush, and this is the Galactic um, Star Blush in the shade Milan. I don't know why I did not get more um, shades during the Black Friday sale, but I really, I forgot that I really love their formula. Because again, hindi siya powdery tingnan sa face. It's relatively small, but it's not that expensive. But syempre, hindi mo naman focus ka ba na blush really? Sa totoo lang. I don't think so. And, lalo na kayo ibang color ng blush yung ginagamit mo. But this gives you a really nice mauve-y, alam mo yun, mauve-y but close to natural um, texture of your skin. So, very skin-like niya. Kaya yun yung gusto ko dito sa blush na to. And I really would love to repurchase more of their colors. Natutuyan ako ng laway, okay? Next is one of my favorite bronzer this year. So, I find na nung no, tinitingnan ko yung collection ko, ito yung talagang naisip ko na lagi ko siya 
na gamit. This is my go-to bronzer. So, and this is the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. So, I love this especially when I have a matte um, foundation on because it brings back the life to my skin. Kasi it gives the warmth and it gives a subtle glow. Hindi siya glittery, just a glow. So, I still look fresh even na matte yung um, nilagay kong foundation. So, typically when I use matte foundations, puro glowy and satiny products yung nilalagay, nilalagay ko over top it to counter the super matte finish. So, ito yung ginagamit kong bronzer for that. And I love that you have two, uh, basically three options kasi you have a lighter cooler one, a warmer one, and you can mix them together for a more neutral looking bronzer. And this is the bronzer that I used in my face today. Next is, okay, sa highlight naman tayo. Okay, simulan natin sa pinaka lighter, uh, more subtle highlights. And this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So this is a very affordable highlight that you can find at the department store. So, isa to sa mga bagay na parang boarding natin na niya sa pan. But it gives your face just the most fresh, most youthful, most healthy finish. As in, kapag sa anyone na may suot nito, I feel like, pag may tinatanong ko, anong highlight yung gamit mo? And when they say it's this, sabi ko na nga ba, yun yung nasa isip ko. Kasi, you know it eh. Alam mo yung itsura niya, it's the perfect champagne shade. It's so flattering and hindi siya nag-gray ka as sa face mo kapag nakaharap ka. Ka. Um, face to face, hindi kayo naka-sidey sa ganyan. It doesn't give you that gray cast. So, I really love this and you get a lot in the pan. Wala siya mirror but it's so affordable. So, alam mo yun, siguro naman may baka mirror sa iba mong makeup. So, I can easily part with that. Next is, nabasag yung akin, so sad, but this is one of my favorite broad broadsers. Highlight! And this is the highlight that I'm wearing today. As you can see, it is not not, not, not really pretty. It's just a glue. Lahat ng mga sasabihin ko highlights is just a glue. Wala siyang glitter whatsoever. It's just a healthy sheen. And this is that what I like about this. Kasi it's never, ah, uh, it's never chunky looking. I will never let go of this kahit pang yung powder pa siya. I will continue to use this. And it's fancy so it's not so expensive. Pero this is more of the more expensive ones. Para mid-range siya sa mga products. Hindi high-end, hindi siya cheap but just the mid-range or mid-price range. So, this just gives you, again, another healthy glow. Much more intense than Chanel's light. Sa pure nude ng essence. So, as you can see, it's very good looking and very healthy looking sa skin. And I love this so much. Next highlight is, ito na yung pinaka, alam yung feeling mo kapag ang dami mo sa mga nangyayari sa'yo and feeling mo nakalbuta ka na ni Lord and hindi kanya na nakikita. So, ito mo tong highlight na to and imposible hindi kanya makita. Galing sa lang, ikita-kita kanya dahil kumikinang ka. Alam mo yun, hanggang ka nakitaan. So, this is the highlight for you. Alam mo yun, para parang sama mo na nakaulit ng Diyos. This is the Gerlactic Luminous Face Veil in See-Through. Guys, sige. So, just you know what I mean. See, it's so metallic. It's so wet looking. See! Yeah! Di ba dito mo? That will be on your face! Di ba? Kung di ka nakita ng astronaut sa nasa Mars, hindi ko nalang alam kung ano pang kailangan mong gawin para manotice ka ng Google Maps. So, ito na yun. <laughs> ito na yun. So, yeah. Kami tinatang mga tao, this is not the highlight for you because you will be more noticeable pag dito yung ginamit mo na highlight. Dito ko na lang sa Essence Pure Dude. Pero kung gusto mo ng attention and gusto mo lang, alam mo yun, if you want to be noticed, then this is the one for you. This is very good for evening makeup. Kasi talaga, boom! Alam mo yun, pag tinamahan siya ng ilaw, it really gives you a stunning, stunning, noticeable, show-stopping, party-stopping look. Party-stopping look. Nakalimut, alam ko nangyong napakasin ka ng salita. Nakalimut ko pala isuot yung sing-sing ko, alam mo yun. So, dahil dyan, isuot pero siya ngayon. Ready! Next items, move on naman tayo sa eyes. So first is, of course, eh, hindi na akong bilingo masyado dito kasi everybody has been talking about this. This is the Stila, ah, uh, ano ba to? Ano ba tawag dito? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So this changed the everybody's glitter game kasi this made putting on glitters on your eyes so much easier. As in, gusto ko siya ilagay ngayon. Can I put this on? I don't know. Okay, so, super obnoxious na ako. Dahil pala naman pupuntahan to this at BFA. So, alam mo yun, kaya ayoko na pag-glitter. Pero this really, alam mo yun, this is so stunning. And this will take your eyeshadow game to the next level. For 
those very few people pala, sige, na hindi pa nakakita ako na yung tsura nito, I will give you an example. See? You see that? Alam mo yun, it's so gorgeous. This is the shade Smothering Satin and Rose Gold Retro. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've seen in your entire life? I don't know why. Imagine that on your eyes, girl! So pretty. Next is, eh, parang, ito yung isa sa mga formula yung gusto mo. Yung entire range yung gusto ko. And I will just show you one. Kasi, hindi ko pa binubuksan yung iba kong kinuha. Kinuha. Yung iba kong binili ito. Kasi, it's part of my Black Friday um, orders video. So, this is the Color Pop Super Shock Shadows. So, I love the formula of this. Kasi, it's so easy to blend. It's so creamy. But, and yet, in between siya ng cream and powder. It, it doesn't freeze. It lasts throughout the day. And this is the perfect formula for me. So easy to blend. This one is in the shade Wattles. But I have a lot more to show you soon. So keep tuned in for more videos. I love the formula of this. I want to collect them all. Para po kay Gold. It's so addicting because they're so cute. Okay, let us move on from that. Guys, kung may magsasabi na hindi ito ang eyeshadow palette of the year, Come on, guys. Let's be real. Ito ang eyeshadow palette of the year. Ito ang nag-shock sa buong um, beauty industry nung nilabas siya. And this is the Jaclyn Hill X Morty palette. And everything you need and more, you can find almost everything. I'd say almost everything. Hindi siya yung perfect palette for me kasi I'm missing my um, matte brow bone color. Or, at saka yung parang safe na rin siya. Yung pwede mong gamitin as your parang base color. Kasi both of these two are shimmery. So, sana yung isa, ginawa na lang niyang matte. Magiging perfect na siya for me. May black, may dark black, may dark black. All the shimmers that you need. Lahat ng kulay, wala kang hindi makikita dito, girl. Maliban sa silver, na hindi naman lagi mong ginagamit. Alam mo yun? This is the palette of the year. The formula is amazing. The shimmers, the mattes are super blendable. Super cool. Although, Merong mga shadows dito na sinabi naman ni Jacqueline na kailangan mo i-portal para maging foil siya kailangan mong basahin ng fix plus or ng any setting spray. But this is, kung hindi mo naman hindi ka collector this is all you'll ever need in your life. Trust me. But, this is not my favorite eyeshadow palette. I'm sorry to say, guys, I love Jacqueline, but this is not my favorite eyeshadow palette. I will tell you what this is so under height. And this is my favorite of all time. This is the Color Dream Queen of Hearts palette. And this is what I have on in my eyes. Guys, when you think about I love Jacqueline so much. I love her, but yung foil shadows si Jacqueline will never compare to the foil shadows of Color Dream. Tingnan mo yung eyes. Ito yung, this is what I'm wearing in my eyes. And guys, Come on, guys. Ano mo yun? Although, don't get me wrong, super ganda ng quality ng Jacqueline Hill um, Morphe Eyeshadow Palette. Pero guys, ang sinasabi ko lang naman, it's not my favorite. Yun lang. I love the palette. I always go towards this. Ito yung talaga yung go-to kong palette. Kasi parang hindi lang mag-isip. Pero gagamitin ko. Kasi nandiyan na lahat. Pero guys, insane kasi yung point shadow nito. As in, papakita ko sa inyo so you'll believe me. You foil shadow na I'm showing. I rest my case. I rest my case. Honestly, honestly, guys, wala na mas ki creamy pa dito. Any creamier than this color pa pa shadow na siya. For eyeliners, I always go to the next faux whites and faux blacks. Kasi, guys, para lang makita niya kung gano'n siya ka pigmented ha. Sa ko ba isa swatch? Hindi ko na alam. Kita nyo yan? By the way, guys, itong lavender color tsaka itong baby pink color nila super, super nakaka-brighten talaga ng eyes. They are so creamy but once they dry down, they stay on your eyes. And itong maroon color, itong ox blood, guys, look! It's so creamy but ano mo yun? Ano siyang gel pero hindi siya madali matuyo. Not like the next Rachel D. Sobrang dry niya. Next for liquid eyeliner, this is my recent discovery. This is the I um, Essence Eyeliner Waterproof Pen. So this is a very the easiest one to use. It's very black. It's very 
opaque and basically this is the best and most affordable um, na magandang liquid eyeliner na nagamit ko. Mas maganda pa siya sa Atom, di Tattoo Night, honestly. Next is mascara. So I have two and you will be surprised kung ano yung pinili kong best of 2017 kasi hindi ito yung mga super hype talaga ng mga products. So first is the Ciate London Wonder One Mascara. So guys, this is the mascara I use today. Tingnan may lashes ko. Flag Ceremony Day Standard of Tension and super super naging volumized and long sila. Volumizing nga, lengthening pa and it doesn't transfer. So yun yung gusto ko sa kanya. I love the wand. It's so fluffy. Ganyan yung gusto ko wand. Parang kawan niya si Better than sex, pero mas gusto ko yung formula ni si Ate. Hindi siya crunchy, alam mo yun. And next is the Tarte's um, Lash Paint by Tarte. This will give you fluffy and volumized lashes. Na parang hindi siya nagka-club, pero it will give you the illusion na ang dami mong eyelashes. Ganun siya. So, I really love this. And again, hindi siya nagpa-play, kaya gusto ko siya. Next is lip products. Punta tayo sa lip products. So first is the lip treatment that I find works the most. This is the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Treatment. I got the small one, pero guys, sobrang dami pa niya. Buong taong ko siyang ginamit last year. Pero sobrang dami niya pa kasi you need just a little and it goes a long way. This is very hydrating to your lips. Kapag feeling mo dahil lips mo, you just put this on and maghintay ka lang na konti. Super okay na yung lips mo. This will give you results. So first is, ito is either you like it or you don't like it. But for me, I like it so much. Kasi it gives you, ito yung gamit ko ngayon sa lips ko. And yet gives you the texture, yung parang texture talaga ng lips mo. Alam mo yun, hindi yung mukhang meron kang makapal. Sisi. <laughs> yung meron kang makapal yung something sa labi mo. And this is the NYX Luxury. So yung formula nila, hit or miss, may mga color na sobrang feel. May mga color naman na opaque and super good. So itong dalawang yun, yun yun. Yung maganda yung formula. Ano ba? So, this is my perfect mood. This is bedtime flirt. Ito yung ginamit ko ng wedding ko. And as you can see, it's very okay. And it's a very feminine color. So, this is the nudest that I can do. Pagdating sa pink. So, dito ko siya nakita. Okay, next luxury bedtime flirt. And again, super ka-formula siya. Ka-texture siya ng lips mo. So, that's what I like about it. And the shade I'm wearing today is exotic. Look, it's so opaque as well. And again, yung texture na. Tapos super long lasting niya. Next is, is super under hype. I feel ko na yung masyado na notice sa product. This is the Koki Lip Powder. Powder? <laughs> Nasaya din yung lip powder talaga. Lip powder na lang itawag natin sa kanya. Para, alam mo yun, for easier reference. I like the dough coat applicator of this. And it's so opaque. Guys! And it dries parang velvety. I love this color by the way. This is the shade Duchess. So, super nagda-dry siya ng matte. And I love the color. So, I love the formula and it's so affordable. Lalo yung Black Friday sale. Parang pabigay na lang siya. So, next is final lip product. Products. Kasi madami siya. This is the recent discovery ko lang to. Nakita niyo to sa last one ko. If you did, subscribe to my channel. And if you're kung hindi ka pa subscriber. What are you waiting for? Then hit that button right below. Say subscribe to subscribe for more videos. Ayan. To be part of the small fam. Okay, anyway. This is the Pixi Matte Last Liquid Lip. And guys, this is the perfect formula packaging applicator colors. Ang tawag sa'yo lang ito, super konti ng colors sila. But again, like I said in my video, Perfect applicator for the corners, corners for the cupid's bow, chap chap, super dale, super opaque, super opaque, super delicious ng smell niya. Ami cupcakes, ami lemon squares, ganon yung masang hirap yung describe ng ami niya. Super opaque, super creamy, super comfortable, super light sa lips. Guys, I cannot ask for more. Ito na yung perfect formula and applicator for me in packaging. Okay, so last but not the least, wala akong bagong setting spray kasi wala akong nakita na tatapat dito sa setting spray na to. This is still my perfect holy cream setting spray and this is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I recently learned that Makeup Forever is not cruelty free. But again, like I said, this is a Maybelline Beach Rewind. This is one of those products na wala akong makita. Napapatay sa kanya. May malapit but it doesn't give the same effect as this one to the point na kaya ko na siya let go especially kung dry yung skin ko walang nakakulang 
yung sa akin iba. Tulad sa nakikinis, maliban dito. Kung meron kang alam na dupe para, para dito na kumultipli, please let me know because I am looking for one na tatapat dito. Please let me know. I want to support Kruelty 3 brands. So, thank you in advance for that. So, guys, we've reached the end of this video, finally. And I'm so happy that you are here with me. You're still subscribed to my channel, still watching my videos after 2017. So, I just want you to know that I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you watching my videos, liking my videos, or even my social media. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart because this is ginagawa ko not for a living. Alam nyo naman siguro na, and na-mention ko naman, that I have a day job. Na feeling ko naman kaya naman akong buhay, kaya naman buhay yung pamilya ko. But this is something that I do for myself because I love doing this. I love talking to you guys. I love talking to girls about makeup and beauty and everything. It's really just a live topic. Alam mo yun, super dead conversation. And this is one of my happy places, you know. So, that's why I appreciate you being here with me and sharing your time with me. And thank you very much. I hope na matry mo itong mga um, best of beauty na 2017 na share ko sa video na to. And if it did, please leave me a comment down below to tell me what you think and what products you think I should try this year. And... Subscribe if you haven't already, of course, and follow me on my social media accounts if you want to get in touch with me and be updated every day and every day, day to day life. And that is it for this video. Happy New Year, guys, and I hope that that this year will be filled with adventures for you guys and just alam mo just full of blessings. And that's it for this video. I love you guys. I love you for the evening. being with me and watching my videos, and I will see you on my next one. Bye.